a basic English grammar lesson. Hi, it's David Clausen with Learn English Quickly. And on my Google Plus account, I have many different visuals to help us learn English. And I found one here so that we can learn the different grammar parts from a sentence. So the sentence reads, After the very ugly man ate 40 chickens, he turned into a beautiful bird and flew into the sky. So let's take a look at these. These are the parts of speech we call that. So the first one, after, is what we call a subordinate conjunction. And we use subordinate conjunctions when we have a dependent clause. So here's some examples of a subordinate conjunction. Things like after, although, as, if, if only. Basically, a dependent clause means the sentence cannot be alone. So here's some examples of it. Even though the broccoli was covered in cheddar cheese, Emily refused to eat it. So this part is the main clause. It's a sentence. It's an independent clause. It can sit by itself. Emily refused to eat it. But if you say, even though, the subordinate clause there, even though, even though the broccoli was covered in cheddar cheese, so this sentence cannot stand alone. It is dependent upon the main clause. Let's look at some more examples. Unless Kristen finishes her calculus homework, she will have to suffer Mr. Nguyen's wrath in class tomorrow. This sentence is dependent upon the main clause here. While Bailey slept on the sofa in front of the television, Samson, the family dog, gnawed on the leg of the coffee table. So these can, this can be kind of hard, this subordinate conjunction. But this right here cannot stand by itself. It's dependent upon the main clause here. So after the, this is the article, the definite article, the, and here is an adverb, very ugly. So an adverb modifies, in this case, the adjective, ugly. Okay, the very, very ugly man. Man is a noun, and ugly, the adjective, modifies the man. Ate, this is the simple past verb, ate 40, the adjective, 40 chickens, which is a noun. He is a pronoun, and pronouns are like she, it, they, we, you, the pronoun is a substitute for the noun. Turned, simple past tense verb, he turned into a preposition, a, which is the article, the indefinite article, we say the indefinite article, beautiful, which is an adjective, bird, now, this is wrong. It should be a small b, b-i-r-d, the noun bird. And this is wrong. This is a conjunction, we say. Conjunction. So some conjunctions are and, but, or, yet, for, nor, and so. Flew, which is a verb, into preposition. The, the definite article, sky, which is a noun. So you can see how a sentence can be broken down into parts of speech. 
I'll go over some of these others, these pins I get. I get emails and I like to pin it on my Google Plus account. So I'll make some more videos for you. And just to help you out, at my website, I put in some grammar lessons from great YouTube teachers and myself to help you learn English more quickly. I'll put a link below this video of my site, but it is at EnglishVideoLessons.net. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for many more free English lessons. And thanks so much for your time, and have fun learning English. Take care. Bye-bye.